Hi, I'm Samir Kopal. I'm a senior engineering manager here at Amazon. One of the most common questions around system design that I get is, how detailed should my design be? At Amazon, we build scalable, secure, reliable, highly available systems, and your design should really demonstrate that. As you start doing your design, you could work yourself up from a database design all the way up to front end, or you could go from the front end and go into the database design. At each layer, work with your interviewer in terms of the level of details they need. And as you're doing that and you're making assumptions, call those assumptions out, validate the assumptions. We need your design to work. We need it to be scalable. We need it to be operationally excellent and cost optimal. Most importantly, have fun with your interview. I'm Julia Kim, a Senior Diversity Program Manager at Amazon. So, how many clarifying questions should you ask before starting a coding problem? Well, there is no right answer, but remember, this is a two-way dialogue between you and your interviewer. A conversation, not a pop quiz. So ask some clarifying questions, such as, what is the time complexity? Or, what are the different inputs I should consider? And if you make any assumptions, make sure you call them out. One way to do this is starting with a brute force solution, then optimize and seek clarification as you go. And remember, your interviewer is not a mind reader. So talk out loud through your thought process as you are working on your solution. So this will demonstrate your awareness of coding techniques. Hello everyone. My name is Gustavo, and I'm a software engineer at Amazon working from Brazil. And another question we are often asked is about system design questions. Are they more focused on the system architecture itself, or are they more focused on applying object-oriented techniques? And the answer is, it kind of depends. If you are applying for more senior positions, you can expect to design a more complex system possibly with lots of components, where the interactions between those components and the scalability of the system are very important. But if you are applying for a more entry-level position, you can expect to dive deep into a single component, identify the main abstractions of that component, and we will possibly be asked to design an object-oriented model for those abstractions. I hope to have that one covered. Hi, my name is Manu. I'm a senior engineer with the mobile build team here at Amazon. Whether you can use pseudocode or brute force during the coding portion of the interview is a question that we get all the time. During the coding portion of the interview, each of your interviewers will be looking at different competencies or areas. Brute force solution is often a great jumping off point to showcase your coding abilities and to show that you understand the problem. Similarly, the pseudocode solution can be used as a jumping off point before you go into the detail of each individual function. If a brute force solution is what you came up with, talk to your interviewer to establish what kind of solution they're looking for. For an interview looking at problem solving, they might rather want you to adapt your solution to slightly different requirements or more complex requirements. Whereas in an interview looking at algorithms and data structures, they might be more likely to want you to implement that more optimal function. In any case, it's always a good idea to be able to talk about the time and space complexity of your solution and any assumptions that you're making. For example, in some circumstances, it might even be preferable to have a brute force solution that runs in O of n squared if it does not allocate any additional memory, but a more optimal solution does. Hello, I'm Katarina. And I joined Amazon as a junior developer after I graduated from university. I am now a senior SDE and I've been in the company for more than seven years now. I'm often asked the question, do we need to write unit tests or just mention different test case scenarios? At the beginning of the interview, just make sure you understand the problem, both happy and unhappy cases. Think about failure scenarios and list them down. You will not really have time to write unit tests, though after you finish coding, you will be asked to validate your code with an example. Here you should think again about various test cases and mention how you would test your code as if you were in a production environment. 
Good luck! Hi, my name is Felipe Sabino. I'm a senior software engineer here at Amazon. A question that we often get is, do I have to use any specific programming language? Well, you can use any programming language that you want. It can be an object-oriented language or even a functional one. If you are very familiar with more than one, you can even use different programming language for each interview depending on the exercise you are given. However, we always suggest that you use a language that you are comfortable and familiar with and that you can write code in a way that you do on a daily basis when working on actual projects. Hi, I'm Eric Cutts, a Senior Engineering Manager at Amazon. A question we often get is, should I be writing code that compiles? Well, you won't be using a modern IDE like IntelliJ, but you'll be provided a link to a web-based shared coding environment that you and your interviewer can work through. It provides basic color coding for most modern programming languages. It's very important for you to focus on having syntactically correct code that's readable and then solves the problem at hand. If you forget a library function, don't worry, you can always work with your interviewer and they'll help you along the way. And good luck. See you, See you at Amazon. Amazon.